All right, we're back. Um, what the fuck is that girl doing there? Let's take a second Martin break. Now, she's be in trouble. What do we do? As we left off, from there, I think they're about to raid Ethan's house no, or something. Stand down. His house. We're back with like the biker chick. Inside. Maybe she lives there. Lost just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Great. I'd be able to pull him up if I could just get to the window. We're gonna get him out. I don't know if they can see that, though. I don't think they can see the dude. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Alright, Ethan, you gotta go, dude. Ethan, you gotta Come on, go. Let's go this way. I'm tapping my button really hard, even though I'm pretty sure it doesn't even mean anything. Tell me they can't move any faster than three miles an hour, huh? Come on, just don't let him see you, don't let him see you, and we'll be home free. There it is. It's easy, easy. Mm-hmm. 
shoot! Ethan. That's good. That was a pretty clean getaway. They got away, luckily. How were they? They they act like they had to run like forty thousand steps. Like they ran maybe a good block. Not even that. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. You followed me. I wanted to know. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me. Testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, 
Leave. Leave me to do this on my own. I don't know if I missed like a um I feel like I missed a option there, but Jesus. Yeah, he's just ready to murder somebody. <laughs> I don't know why my computer is just sounds like it's a jet engine Your right vodka, now. Sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest Fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Let me guess, this is all like a one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. I get the feeling this is all like a hologram or a projection through his glasses. Back to this stuff. Mm. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A 
Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? There it is. Now we're on like Pandora. <laughs> There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Okay. That's okay. I'll try this one more time. I'll try the modus operandi. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Most work allows you free time, bud. No, well, that's basically all we can go through. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It could be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit! It's... It's coming! Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. So he's addicted to whatever that drug is. And he's going with the draws. I wasn't. I was confused and why he's. So he's got like some serious withdrawal problems on whatever drug that is. We're just gonna keep him backing up here.
phone going on. <laughs> but I keep them away from whatever that is. I don't know. I don't remember what it is, but it's something. But I keep them away from it. How long is this gonna last? No, no, no. Take a cold shower or something, dude. Or maybe something. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Uh, next episode, we'll see what this private detective is going to be doing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.